Right, I tell you there, chap. Today I'm going to be doing a video comparing the rendering times between the GTX 1050 in this XPS 15 here and the GTX 1060 in this Alienware 13 inch. In Premiere Pro, same project outputting to the same file. So this is 4K content outputting to the YouTube 4K preset. Now this is a MOV H.264 Panasonic GH4 files in here plus high resolution photos. I will be doing a more in-depth video editing video between the 1050 and the 1060 to show you in the real world if you're editing 4K content is there actually a difference when you're editing video on the timeline and how it handles files etc. And a spoiler alert, there's not that much difference between the two really. Now, let's see the rendering time difference. Now, if you like these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up there and make sure you subscribe for more, more in-depth video editing video. That sounds weird. Okay, so let's just crack on and see how fast it renders. I'm gonna leave it in real time so you can hear the noise and I'll also leave up the task manager. I'm going to leave this on real time and as you can see task manager so you can see how fast the CPU is going and also how much it's been utilized. So straight away the Alienware kicked in the fans. This kicked in the fans a bit slower. Both at 100%, 3.39 gigahertz both of them. And they are both using the same exact CPU. And the difference is 6 gigabyte 10 Sorry, 6 gigabyte GTX 1060 versus 4 gigabyte GTX 1050. Now it says on the GTX 1060, 7 minutes and 37 seconds. On the 1050, 7 minutes and 40 seconds. So is that not, so there's not that much difference at the moment, but I do expect this to be I don't know, a few minutes faster, I'd say. So three minutes in, none of them are throttling, both still over three gigahertz.
Now sometimes you'll see the CPU slow down. I'm not talking speed here in gigahertz. I mean just from 100% utilization to 80%, 70 It just depends on what part of the um, timeline it's actually in because the way Premiere renders photos and videos is completely different. When Premiere renders photos, it doesn't even use the graphics card at all. So the CPU will be running hotter then and faster. But when you render just normal video, it will use the GPU. So the CPU may slow down at that point. But as you can see, both of them, 100%. Oh, no throttling at all. 3.39 gigahertz on the XPS 15 or 10 or GTX 1050 there and over 3 gigahertz on the Alienware as well so it's worth noting the Alienware is louder or the GTX 1060 here is louder of course it's a lot hotter
Okay, so the GTX 1060 is finished here. Didn't throttle the whole way through. And it took 10 minutes and 37 seconds. So this is a fairly heavy duty project. It's only like six minute video. There's a lot of high resolution photos, 4K, LUTs applied, color correction. And I'm talking 36 megapixel photos. Over 8K these photos are and there's motion in it and everything. So that's pretty good I'd say. And it's saying there's a minute remaining on the GTX 1050 now. So the GTX 1050 is finished, it's just right into the disc now. So there you have it. 2 minutes 30 seconds slower than the GTX 1060, the GTX 1050 was. I expected it to be more to be honest.